Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Visio module on a street plan. What I have here is a street plan, a rough plan of my estate. What I'm going to do in this session is basically show you how I got this far. I'm going to create myself a new sheet and start from scratch. So first of all, I created myself a stencil and on this stencil I've got groups of houses, woods, um, a series of link houses, semi-detached houses, a street of houses, a block of garages, and so on and so on. So I think by doing this, creating these first in your stencil, it makes the end product a lot quicker to achieve. Unfortunately, there is no quick way of doing this. It's a very slow process when you're designing your own shapes, um, especially to fit a specific specification. I've also got road elements here with um, extended elements to it, so making it longer rather than bringing on one individual piece and connecting it on and connecting it on. So all these things, I think you need to get sorted out first off before you even start or even attempt to um, build any sort of street plan or map. So I'll just get rid of all these and I'll show you how I did that. So first of all, first of all the house. I'll zoom in a little bit on that one. So it's just a rough representation of the footfall of a house with a garden and a, a paved area at the front. So this is the actual house there. So to do that, I use the rectangle tool. I just drew a rectangle and then I drew a line down the middle, roughly in the middle, which is not in the middle. And then now I've drawn two lines there, so I'm just going to undo that and pull this one down. Take that, take that off. Put it down to snap so it snaps in and then just move it across a little bit not getting it centered which is slightly irritating still not centered okay good start that's okay which is nearest damn it then I um, colored this in so in my example I've got it that color and then I use my shift key to highlight these two and group them into one thing and then I repeated the process with the rectangle to get myself a paved, paved garden. So the house looks like it needs to be slightly bigger. So it, so it snaps to the geometry. And then same sort of thing at the back of the house for a garden, assuming everybody's garden is the same sort of size, colouring that one in green, funny colour grass, and getting the pointer tool back on, bringing that in a little bit, get it to snap so it's all the same size. So that was roughly what I did for a single house, and then I highlighted the whole thing and grouped it. Just do that again because I missed. group and then I added that to my stencil and give it a name house one because I've already got one that's quite a, a bit larger than the one I've got in my stencil so for a bigger scale now for um, semi detached houses basically that's just two of these two of these together so if I just copy that with a control key and then bring them back together so you've got them like that maybe even yeah that'll do and then just group those two right right click group so that becomes a semi bring that on there call that semi one semi detached and then <clears throat> the links are just basically a, a group of houses pushed together and then grouped, same process and 
and add it to this the stencil. Now to do um, the roads, oh, you might want to do the houses first. Um, let's say we've got a series of links there. If I come down, and this would be facing the road. This is the back gardens. I'll just do a couple of these. Control, control. So there's your street of links, and then if I do, if I group that, and then just move it across the other side of the road with the control key and then I need to spin this round so I've got that lined up now I've just noticed that I haven't got um, the grid on my screen that does help you sort of line up a bit more accurately but there you go there's a street of houses I haven't got the road, so I'm go to road shapes and just bring a road, push that in between these two. So that would be um, the road coming straight down. And then what I've also got in my, I'll just save my stencil, I've also got some garage units in there. To simulate garages so let's say there's a, a block of garages at, at the end of each of these streets and at the other end we'll just have another road going across the top which we can get this one to snap into so let's say that's a road off the estate like so now the whole process um, can be repeated obviously and the more accurate you do your initial drawing the more accurate your your plan is going to be so if I do that repeat that across again and move that one across so what you're trying to do is avoid the need to recreate things all the time so by doing it like this, you can quickly create a, a street plan. So I can get that to spin round. It's going to be my road down the middle. Snap onto that. Probably move it too far. Drag it. There you go. Maybe move that one across a bit. Now, to be more accurate, I'm just doing this quite roughly, to be honest, but. You could use the, the ruler across the top and the actual size, the um, size and position. This XY is the position it is from the bottom corner. There's the width and so on and so on. You can make sure everything's the same size. But if you've done it from your stencil, everything should be the same because you're just bringing it on pre-formatted list or shape should I say and although this can be quite frustrating sometimes doing these sort of street plans it, it is also um, therapeutic if you um, want to spend some time recreating your street plan this is the tool for it so basically uh, that's the end of this module I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for your time.